Now, last week, we followed some of the candidates running for governor in 2019 to see what a day is like for them on the campaign trail. We have one left. It's Rocky Atkins. He's a Democrat from out in eastern Kentucky, and we sent Chris Tomlin to spend a day with him at Pikeville's Hillbilly Days. Big boy, six and nine, and uh, we've got a little girl who will be the first one for my son and my daughter-in-law. That is, uh, how you doing, friend? Hang in there with me. Appreciate you. Thank you. That will be born uh, on the 15th is the due date of this month. What do you think the parallels are between parenting and running a state? Because there have to be some. Well, there, right? there, there is. There's no question. Uh, I mean, it's a family. It's a family event. It's, it's trying to bring people together. It's trying to unite people across Kentucky, and you know, trying to build people up instead of tearing them apart. Now, Rocky, you are also famous for your basketball prowess. Tell us a little bit about that. You were well, the Moorhead Eagles. I was a. Uh, was and am a proud Moorhead State University Eagle. Um, played my college basketball at Moorhead and uh, finished my career in the NCAA tournament against Syracuse uh, in Hartford, Connecticut. Those days at Moorhead State, wearing that Eagles uniform is pretty special then, still special today. Really. Absolutely. Yes. Now we're gonna have you put your money where your mouth is. We're gonna put the, we're gonna put you to the test here. The only thing I would say is that the court's longer and the rim's higher. I'm gonna give it all I got. All no right. excuses. Oh man! Are you banking in? Rainbow. All right, I'm, I'm I'm getting ready to go here. That's tough, man. Will that ball go through that rim? Hey, don't get no better than that right there, though, huh? That's yours. You take that home with you, okay? So this is what it's all about. It's about people. You can look down the street there, and people are here having fun. They've worked hard all week. They get up every day. They gut it out, try to feed their family, and put a roof over their head. And then here they are today, supporting their lo local community and being a part of a tradition that uh, I think Kentucky's all about. Hey, let's buy a, a funnel cake. You cannot go any place without buying a funnel cake at a festival. Well, we owe you, man. Yeah, yeah. Take care, buddy. Yeah. That's, that's my first contribution. I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll put her down as the end kind, okay? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Now, you've been, a, you know, you've been in politics for 30 years. Yep. Tell me about the first time you ran. Well, the first time I ran for office, um, I was 25 years old, and it was for the very seat I hold today. Uh, 99th Legislative District at that time, it was all of Elliott County, all of Lawrence, and the biggest part of Boyd County. And over time, redistricting has happened, and, and because of redistricting, there's areas that I had in my district that I don't any longer have, and that's really painful when you build those relationships. So I ran my first race when I was 25. I'm the only member of my family to ever run for a political office. And uh, when I made the decision to run, you know, my grandfather that I talk about a lot, I said, Papa, I'm getting ready to run for state representative. What do you think about that? And he said, well, I think you're an idiot. But he said, if you're going to do that, I want you to make me one promise. And I said, well, what's that? He said, I don't want to catch you in my precinct. I'll handle this precinct. On election night, first campaign we've ever run, my grandfather had worked the election grounds all day. He had people checking off names as they came in to vote. He went and got them if they hadn't been to vote. And that night when they read the tally off and they said Rocky Adkins and there was 300 people behind us. And uh, my grandpa was smoking them sawed off camel cigarettes and had that old fox hunter hat on that black coffee, you know. Rocky Adkins got real quiet. 485 and my opponent, 15. Well, that wasn't good enough for him. His big right elbow hits me like this, and he says, well, I wonder who them 15 idiots was. He said, they lied. He said, everybody come through here today said they were going to vote for you. Hey, let's give a big Eastern Kentucky welcome to Rocky Adkins. Let's talk about that stump speech. You have three minutes, right? They're going to cut you off if you go over. 
It's, 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 you you got to just do it. Like, you that's your it. halftime speech. you got to do it. It's, How much fun is that? Well, it's fun. It, it, it's fun. It's kind of like that ha halftime locker room speech, either as a team captain and point guard or a coach. Right. You know, you're in there to fire them up. You're in there to motivate them. Well, let me first of all say I am proud to be in the hills and the mountains of eastern Kentucky. I'm proud to be in eastern Kentucky, born and bred here in the hills and the mountains of eastern Kentucky. You know, leave it all on the court. You did that. You, you were, you were well, shouting. You were hey, look, if you can't bring energy yeah. and you can't motivate people, get on the bench. Get out of the way. Working families of Kentucky knows how I fought the unfriendly policies of this governor that has driven down wages of hard-working people all across this commonwealth. Kentuckians know how I've stood up as a former teacher and fought the public policies against public education and the attempt to privatize public education. It's time to bring respect and dignity back to the governor's office of the commonwealth of Kentucky. Are you for that? You know, in three minutes, you got to try to get it down and I use my three minutes, but what better way to be played down when than with right. bluegrass that's music? Right. That's, uh, that's the best way yeah. to be played down, right. I think. You, know, you, you also received an endorsement today from the United yes. Mind Workers I did. Association. I did. How, what does that mean? Being from this area, what does that endorsement mean to you? It, it's, it's a tremendous endorsement, knowing what the United Mine Workers have done for generations. You know, they mine the coal that's powered this nation. They mine the coal that's helped us win wars. Um, they've been the folks that's mined the coal to help keep the heat and lights on. And they're the folks that basically did the work mind the coal that helped, that helped build the industrial revolution of this world, of this nation, that created the strongest middle class ever known to the world. Uh, I'm in this race to win it, and I'm honored to have the United Mind Workers behind me as we travel Kentucky and we gain the momentum and support we need to be the next governor of this great commonwealth of Kentucky. Boil it down to its, its very essence. What does the state of Kentucky mean to Rocky Atkins? Well, the state of Kentucky is uh, means everything. To be very honest, it's, it's who I am. Uh, it's where my family's been for over 200 years. It's a, a, a commonwealth of Kentucky that's full of just great people. You know, the diversity of what you see from one region of Kentucky to the other, and really the, the history and the tradition of our people. We all have our own kind of traditions in a way, but we're all Kentuckians, and I like the uniqueness of Kentucky, the uniqueness of our people, the uniqueness of our regions, what we're known for, what we're about. It's just pretty special history. Now, Rocky Atkins will be one of the three Democratic candidates who will appear in our debate Wednesday night on Hey, Kentucky. I will moderate from 7 to 8 here on LEX 18.